Hello there, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Virgo, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of repeating numbers, angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Virgo, let's pull some cards here and see what spirit would like you to know today. All right, so the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles, Virgo, is a temporary place. Some of you may be feeling like um, this is an interesting energy because I've been feeling this energy quite a bit this last few weeks, but it's showing up in everyone's cards now. So I feel that the energy has picked up. It's a, it's a feeling of um, hardship. It's a feeling of almost going through this period of bad luck. It just feels like things aren't working out. And I want you to know again that this is a temporary period for you, Virgo. So hang tight, tap into that inner strength, my friends. You got this, okay? So the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor card. Look at the powerful version of you that is going to rise like the Phoenix. Virgo, this is what spirit guides are wanting from you, to stand in your power. You, my friends, are the emperor of your world. You're not here to compete. You are here to rule, my friends. Nothing is going to stand in your way, not even this temporary period of hardship. All right, so know that, own that power. Uh, this is a major arcana card. The energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely. Others, you're feeling this subtly. All right, we're going to talk about this card a little bit more as well. So give me a moment here while I pull your last card. Look at this. We're getting the Ace of Pentacles. There is a big opportunity coming towards you here. Look at the size of this pentacle. This is coming towards you. You're going to see this very clearly here, Virgo. And there is a potential for some major success with this, okay? Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my readings. So those of you that are watching today, I want you to... Take a look at the cards that are popping up here and try to interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. All right, so look at this. It's so beautiful. I love these cards for you because even though there is this little hiccup on the road for you, Virgo, I feel things are about to bloom. Things are about to expand and grow in your life in a big, big way. And it's you that's creating this, okay? Now, Everyone lives a different life experience, so these cards are going to present themselves differently for each and every one of us. This is also a uh, general reading, so it might not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you today, please leave it behind. All right, Virgo, so let me take a look at these cards. I'm picking up on the number five and the number one through the cards, right? Five of Pentacles, Ace of, uh, wa uh, Ace of Pentacles, sorry. So the number five, in numerology, the number five is all about conflict. It's about change, instability, chaos, challenges, all the things that make us feel out of our element, uh, uncomfortable, right? The things that we don't like. So those of you that are watching today, if the five of pentacles is in your life right now, comment and share what it is that you're going through right now. I feel that just being resourceful, really thinking things through and not allowing this energy to define you right now, Virgo, you're going to come out of this, okay, with flying colors. This is what the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles is showing me. So it's all about hanging tight, ground your energy and breathe through it, my friends. 
Again, the spirit guides are really wanting me to emphasize that this is a temporary period. This could be this feeling of, and, I, and I'm just getting this wave of energy that has come through. This could be you having some sort of bump on the road with your relationship. This could be work related. Maybe you have lost your job or you feel that the job that you're in right now isn't the right one for you. There's almost like this feeling of disappointment, this feeling of resentment coming in, like all these different emotions, these waves of emotions that are kind of coming through. And it, I, I feel that some of you are on this ship where there's this storm and there's waves and wind and you're trying to get the sails and you're trying to get yourself out of this storm. It really feels like a storm is passing through your life here, Virgo. So it could be a light storm. It could be just rain. And for some of you, it's like thunder, lightning. It feels like a tornado. Everything's like out of control here. Spirit guides want you to take that chaos that you're feeling, add structure to it. This is what the emperor does. The emperor takes the chaos and adds structure to it. This is through your life experience here, okay? I feel that some of you have weathered other storms in your life and you have come very far. This is just one of those storms that you have to pass through again here, Virgo. So stand in your strength, know that you have superpowers, you have acquired many different superpowers over the course of your life. So what spirit guides want you to do is to look back at some of the challenges and obstacles you've already overcome in your life. Use that as your strength. Okay, you have superpowers, all we have to do is tap into them. All right, things are going to work out for the better for you. If you're feeling like finances finances are low right now it's time to really uh figure out what you're spending your money on okay and anything that you're holding on to in your home that is collecting dust is now time to kind of um what spirit guides are showing me is downsizing a little bit and this doesn't mean like you have to downsize your home into an apartment where some might be doing that right but i feel now is the time to really focus in on where you're spending your money. Maybe it's time to get rid of your Amazon account, right? Maybe it's time to uh, cut down shopping, things that are unnecessary that we just like to buy. I sometimes do this. I remember when I used to work in a mall, uh, in a dental office in a mall, um, and just I used to buy so many things because they were there. Had I not seen them, I wouldn't have bought them, right? So it's all about um, really understanding, um, you know, do I actually need this? No, I don't, so why am I gonna buy it? right? And being resourceful here as well. I feel that sometimes we feel maybe there's something that we're lacking, something that we need to uh, do in our lives to add value to ourselves. I feel that it's going to be a really good opportunity for a lot of us right now to pick up on skill sets, to learn something new because the world is changing. And this could be partly because the world is shifting right now. There's a transition that is happening, right? Transition of power, transition on the way things are done. Uh, and I feel Feel this is going to um, you know it's going to go right into 2030 and we're going to experience a lot of different things in our world it's all about being prepared for it right and you know wherever it is I feel that spirit guides are really wanting you turn your weaknesses into your strengths here at this time and I've been talking about this we've got the lunar eclipse right the full moon in Taurus everything is in alignment because the eclipse is in the north node of the moon it's really emphasizing our life purpose our life path our destiny so for some of you this is a manifestation that is taking formation so it could feel like your world is upside down but it needs to be upside down because the things that no longer are meant for you are going to leave your life okay and for some of you this is almost a spiritual awakening that can feel a little bit uncomfortable that can feel a little bit unstable make your world feel unstable again this is only temporary this is going to pass through just think of it as a wave of energy that is coming through and it's going to pass through your life okay don't be afraid here everyone don't ever allow fear to get the best of you instead whatever is making you afraid turn that into your biggest strength here my friends that's the best way I counter fear that's the way I counter weaknesses in myself is I turn them into my biggest um, strengths I was about to say my biggest weapons but no it's not a weapon um, <laughs> weapon for success all right so we're getting the Emperor card it's all about stabilizing yourself I feel that a lot of you are seasoned, okay? Seasoned in many different things. So you can share with me in the comment section below what the Emperor card means to you, even the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel the Ace of Pentacles for some of you has already arrived in your life. For others, this is about to come in, okay? I feel it's gonna show up in the next probably 
four to six weeks in your life, this Ace of Pentacles, if it has, aren't, hasn't already shown up. Now, the Emperor card, there's like this creation that is happening. You have the power. It's a very masculine energy. This is where spirit guides are asking you to roll up your sleeves and really get to work. It's now time to... Um, be result, results oriented. They're really wanting you to embody that energy. And I'm getting the number eight here. The number eight in numerology is all about power. It's about ambition. It's about strength and mastery. And because we have uh, the emperor card, there's like this, this courage, this bravery, this creation that is happening and it's taking a lot of your strength here. And perhaps this is something that is very minor and maybe you have started a business, maybe you have started a new job and it's really tough just to get um, into the vibe of it and maybe you're, you're not um, in tune with the people that are working with you or maybe you entered some sort of a new place or something new has come in and it's just feeling really uncomfortable for you. And this is where spirit guides really want you to tap into your strength here. You are someone that has gone through a lot of different experiences in your life so you my friends are seasoned you know this you got this okay so tap into that strength and I do feel some of us have gone through our life experience like I'm picking up on this interesting energy of um, you were once strong but now for some reason after a lot of things that have gone on there's been this like little bit of shift in the way that you feel about yourself the way that you feel about the world that has shifted a little bit and I do feel this is touching with our identity a little bit so maybe um belief systems have been shattered maybe you've gone through a lot of disappointments maybe people around you are changing this is where spirit guides really want you to ground your energy and stand in your own truth all right and maybe that truth for you is also shifting that whatever you believed once is no longer um, existing for you and you're starting to shift and that's that awakening right that's that ascension that is happening and it's almost like I'm picking up on this detached energy as well so spirit guides really want you to focus on grounding techniques here Virgo those of you that are watching you have the power and it's all about you rising up again like the phoenix this is going to be you sitting on your throne ruling your kingdom here my friends so spirit guides want to remind you how powerful you are you have the resilience you have, you have the capabilities of overcoming anything in your life. You are much stronger than you know here, my friends. And it's now time to create the life that you desire. This is all about creation. It's about mastery. It's about power. It's about control. And through discipline, you're going to see this, right? Put yourself into a system. Take that chaos around you and give it structure here and grow from that place. You're going to see a lot of growth really quickly by doing this. So um, when we take chaos, for example, if everything feels like it's everywhere, let's grab it all, put it on a sheet of paper and organize it. So we understand, okay, this is currently going on in my life. This is going on. Uh, you know, I've just lost my job. I have to find a, a job. You know, there's somebody in my life that is dealing with uh, a turbulent relationship and I'm being, I'm, I'm being the person that has to be the middle band, right? Or there's something that happened here. You know, my mom's sick or this, all these different things, write them all down so you can organize it in your mind and tackle them one at a time rather than feeling overwhelmed by everything. That's where you take that chaos and organize it and add structure to it. That way you understand, okay, these are the things that are going on. I'm just going to deal with them. This is that wave of energy. That's that storm that is passing through and we're going to get over this. And that's that power that you have naturally here. Virgo. Very powerful energy here. I've got all this dust. I should clean my table off. I'm sorry. I keep looking at it because it's bothering me. And I actually dropped some of the incense on my carpet, which burned a hole in my carpet. So I got to be extra careful here with all um, my incense and stuff. Now, um, this is interesting because I feel some of you have come into some sort of spiritual insight recently. Something has like... Um, it's almost, I feel it's tied to the full moon energy. And you know, this beginning of November, right in through December, this next 18 months for you, and I'm going to bring a lunar eclipse reading to you as well. But I feel it's now time to create that stability and security in your life. You know, what does that look like to you? What does security and stability look like to you? If you have a good picture of that and you understand what that looks like, you're going to be able to bring, build a bridge to that place. And that's all it is, is understanding and having clarity around it. And um, your life experience, I feel, is 
your biggest strength here because you've gone through a lot here, Virgo. And I feel that you're very smart. Uh, I feel you're somebody also who has a lot of things under control. Maybe this is a temporary period, right, which is showing up here in the Five of Pentacles where it might feel a little bit chaotic, but you are somebody that knows how to keep things under control. So it's now time for you to really tap back into that power. And it's time for you to be the leader in your life, the leader of your life. This is ultimately what spirit guides are really asking you to do is to be that leader in your own life and know that you have the potential for great financial and career um, success here, okay? This is what this card is about, that you are very powerful. And if you're doubting yourself, if there's any kind of limiting beliefs, spirit guides really want you to take those thoughts and beliefs and chuck them out the window because they have no room in your life right now. Okay, so really nurture your mind at this time. There's a creation happening. And this is the creation of your life, Virgo. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a big opportunity coming in. This is really going to expand your world in a positive way here. So can you imagine if you took this, like if you look at this person, look how small they are and look how big this pentacle is. If you took this big, huge pentacle and planted it in the ground and you really spend some time nurturing it, right? Watering it, giving it enough light, doing all the things where this seed feels nurtured. It is going to grow and it's going to grow so big here that you're going to be shocked. It's going to be unbelievable that you are the one that created this beautiful tree that is now bearing fruit, which is that manifestation coming into fruition, right? So this could be a beginning of a new job for some of you, right? This could be a job offer. This could be a business opportunity. This could be financial support coming in for you. Maybe you're going to run into some sort of money. Someone may lend it. You're going to get a loan approved or there's something coming in that is going to help propel you forward where you're going to succeed in life here. And it's up to you to create a lifestyle for yourself. I feel that... Um, for some of you, this could be rock bottom, okay? And the only way you can go from rock bottom is up. And that, that rising, I'm seeing this beautiful phoenix rising, like this fire on the wings, and it's just blow, like just blowing up. I feel there's a blow up about to happen in some of your lives, like a major blow up, a glow up, whatever you want to call it. And some of you have started something new. I feel that um, there's a project that has started. Maybe the project is yourself, right? Where you're working on your own self-development. Maybe you've hit the gym. You're like, okay, I'm going to start taking care of my health. This thing happened to me recently. And if I don't get on top of it, then my health will deteriorate. So like for myself, I have Hashimoto's. I have high blood pressure. So my husband and I joined, uh, we created the 5 a.m. club. So we're getting up every single morning at 5 a.m., hitting the gym. I've even joined yoga. So I'm doing all of these things to really stay in tune with my body right I'm 45 years old so I'm really thinking about my health I'm also looking at my growth and expansion with sacred knowledge tarot among other things so I feel for some of you these could be many different things and you're really um, being given the opportunity right now to start fresh this could be you giving birth to an idea some of you right and the potential for success again spirit guides want you to understand is huge all right, it is so big and you have the potential to be a self-starter here, Virgo. You have the potential to be a pioneer in anything that you do here. So know that whatever it is that you're starting, that you're thinking of, you're being given an opportunity to really grow and expand in your life and you're going to see a lot of victory and a lot of success in this. All right, I'm getting dreams coming through. So I don't know if any of you have been seeing dreams, any kind of lucid dreaming, vivid dreams, um, and I'm getting astral projection. So I don't know if any of you have astral projected like as you were sleeping or you've been practicing this, but there's almost like this aerial um, image I'm getting of some of you kind of floating and really um, looking at the landscape that you're trying to create or you've gone somewhere else like to a different dimension this might not resonate for everyone and you might not understand this but I get I'm getting somebody like leaving you having an outer body experience you'll have to share with me in the comment section below 
if this is what you're feeling and this is something new that is coming in and this is coming in with the ascension this higher frequency this higher vibration where you're really tapping into your spirituality but you're opening yourself up to so much more so this could be a spiritual journey for some of you an opportunity to really embrace your spirituality embrace your identity and where you what where and what you identify with Okay, so lots of ways that this Ace of Pentacles can come in, but no, there's a lot of beautiful things that are about to happen, a lot of growth, and what Spirit Guides want you to do is to be open and receptive at this time, and don't close yourselves off just because of the Five of Pentacles temporarily kind of sitting in your life for a little bit here. It's just a wave of energy. It is going to pass by, so know that and own that power within yourself to really rise above the rest you're being given an opportunity here with the ace of pentacles to really rise above the rest rise up like the phoenix so it's time for you to bounce back up here virgo i'm now going to pull a bonus card from the angels and ancestors oracle deck so i'm going to read the interpretation from the guidebook so let's see what spirit guides would like you to know today virgo i'm picking up on um I'm getting a Libra energy, but I'm also getting an Aquarius energy coming through. So I don't know if any of you have any Libras or Aquariuses around you right now, or if this is somewhere in your birth chart. All right, so, um, okay, we're getting Seer coming through. See beyond the current situation. I have another card that came out, but this was the one on top. So this is the one I'm going to use for you today. Seer see beyond the current situation virgo so let's read the interpretation here from the guidebook look at that i feel some of you are clairvoyant some of you have spiritual powers that you might not even know of so if you're someone that um, is able to predict things or see things smell things feel things this is how i see things right i see things feel things smell things dreams i can predict things through dreams where i can't control it i just have the dream and it tells me and it just shows up and you know it's just it's the most interesting way that intuition works so your intuition is at an all-time high virgo so look beyond your current situation raise your vibration and focus on love virgo most indigenous people have a seer in the family or tribe seers are the intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as direct channels for information on what's currently now what's occurring now and what's about to unfold their energy is about predicting your future for you but about showing you how your intentions are creating it a true seer will help you see that your intentions can change therefore so can your future the message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself without with your spiritual eyes clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future it's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future virgo you are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now don't allow your ego or your doubts to play games with you instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost know you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recollaborates a path that is more favor favorable for you. That's the Five of Pentacles, by the way. Angels of Light are upgrading your energy so your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. So look at that. This card put everything all together for you here in one uh, big paragraph. So look at that seer energy for you virgo all right let's pull an angel number some of you have been seeing angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today you can also use this as an affirmation all right so we're getting the number five i am adaptable we already got the number five coming through from the five of pentacles so there is this instability instability change coming into your life you are adaptable here virgo you have this power so let me read you the message on this card flexibility is your forte here virgo when life throws you a curveball you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change be brave and bold in your endeavors 
So spirit guides are also calling you to embody the energy of the life path number five, Virgo. So this is your reading, my friends. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.